Hi, I'm Mark here with GeorgeIrishDiscolors.com. A lot of you are asking how I do my foot stalls. I've got um, four border collies, two that do the foot stalls really good, Rocket, Gipper. Um, Irish doesn't care for them particularly, but I don't push her. She doesn't like them. I don't push her. For some reason, she doesn't like them. But sometimes she will do two foot, a two, she'll jump off two feet to a vault vaulted in a throw by me. Um, but I don't push her. She does a lot of other little things. Um, so I don't push your dogs. If they don't like them, don't force it on them. Come back a couple months later try it again. I'm going to kind of show you how I learned how to do it. and uh, Very simple. Hopefully it'll work for y'all. Um, what I uh, started out doing to begin with is you teach your dogs to jump up on something. Um, at my old house, I had an 8x8 post and I put a piece of wood on it. Like, you got the uh, piece of wood as you can see here. This time, I don't know, I made something out of PVC pipe and I uh, got a little solid platform for the dogs. And uh, so, I just teach them to get up at a higher height. I know they're going to load up from the front side of me, so I, I'll teach Gibber to come around the front. Some of this he's way beyond, he hadn't done it in a long time since he's. Pass this little Gipper. Come here, buddy. Come here. Ready? Gipper, up feet. Up! Gipper, up feet. So, he's up there. Foot stall. I'm like confident in everything. Uh, if, if, once you get him up on your feet, you can get someone to feed him. Confidence in everything. I'll be like, Gipper, up. Catch. Good boy. Down. Gipper, go around. I give him a throw. Uh, then, just over time, you'll do that over and over. You don't have to push them getting on your feet or nothing. Come here, Gip. Next thing I do, see if I can get him to do it. He's not used to this one. I built this one for Thunder. Thunder's trying to learn to do a foot stall now. Let me see if I can get Gipper to do this. Gipper, come here, buddy. Front, come here. Sit. Gipper, up feet. Good boy. There, I was there to catch him for safety reasons. Gipper, up feet. Good boy. Gipper, up catch. Keep her down. That's the way he's going to be going down. Good boy. Alright. Get her. So you practice that over and over. Always be ready to catch him. Just like I was right then. I was ready. He hadn't done this in a long time, so he wasn't used to it. Um, I try not to ever edit my videos. What, what you see is what happens. Come here. Get her front and center. Come here. Over here. Sit. Sit. Stay. Then I'll start introducing my feet into the equation. Gipper, up feet. So my feet are there, so he knows eventually my feet are going to be there. Gipper, stay. Gipper, catch. Good boy. Gipper, down. I'll get up. Give him a throw. Rollers, you're always rewarding them. Eventually, so you know you keep doing that over time. A couple weeks and everything. Um, so, take the foot stall, a little contraction. Look, one thing you can do is you can put them on an 8x8 post, a board, or you can hold on. start with a 5 gallon bucket if you want to. That'll work. Just have your dogs jump up on a 5 gallon bucket. You might even want to have them start jumping up on a chair to begin with, a tall stool or something. Uh, one crazy thing, Gipper won't do this, he used to, but you can train the young dogs with it once they progress on your feet. What I did is I just got a board the same size as that. Got some tennis shoes, it's about a half an inch thick. Screw the shoes on the board, put a non-slip surface so they can't slip, and then I'll put it on my feet to take it to the next level. It's just like your feet, gives them a flat surface to work on before you go to the tennis shoes. Um, themselves, you're gonna to wanna to check the soles of your, your shoes and make sure they're really flat. Notice a lot of times I'll wear the new balance ones because they're really flat on the bottom. Give the dog a flat surface to go on. Um, there's different types of foot vaults you can do and everything. Uh, a long time ago I had Rocket doing the one foot, the one foot stall stand and everything. I had him vaulting off one foot many, many years ago. He could vault off one foot. I started seeing some other people do it, so I was like, um, then I started noticing it was taking too much time. This year, in one of the championships, I noticed somebody took like 17 seconds to set up one foot stall. So I try to hit mine really quick, do them, do them a little multiple, because they're more kind of more for shows and everything. If you're going to do them in a competition, 
you got to do it quick, get it over with. Um, a lot of times, only people that truly appreciate it, a lot of times are when you're doing the shows and everything. There's a lot of different variations going on with these foot stalls now. Uh, so I'm going to show you a Gipper. I put Gipper in front of me. Gipper, come here. Gipper, sit. Stay. And, and you'll notice when I put my feet up, I put, I'll, I'll put them together. I'll put my knees together so I have a good platform. You can also, a lot of people say their legs get tired. You can take your hands and hook them behind your leg. And eventually you just want your dog to hit your feet and ride it up like that. Ride it up like that from the front side. Gipper, he loads really good. All right, Gipper. So he's getting ready to load up, and he, as you can see him, Gipper, up feet. That's a good load up. He's on my feet and everything. I taught Gipper to beg off my feet like that, but that's, that just that took a lot of time and a lot of confidence. Gipper doesn't mind doing it. Rocket used to beg really good on a one foot stall. Gipper, I just say, uh. And notice, don't be throwing your multiples this way. They're, they go a lot easier this way. Think about the wind. When you throw them too, right. they'll go around. And it's the same thing, however you want to do an upside down throw. You can do an overhand throw. You can do a backhand. A lot of people have their dogs come back over you. Uh, but uh, like Gipper about, shoot, Gipper. He's five. I'm going to say one of the very first vaults he did was off one foot. And then I started seeing other competitors doing it. And so, But I'll show you his little one foot vault. Come here, Gip. Side. St Gipper, come here. Good boy. Gipper, stay. Stay. Gipper, up. One foot. One more time. Good boy. Go around. Stay. Come here, buddy. Stay. Stay. Notice I'm giving him a good platform. I turn my foot to give him a good platform. Keep her up. Ah, oh, he jumped over and he tricked me, boy. You silly boy, come here. You supposed to jump off my foot. Come here. Sit. Sit. So he knew he could jump off my foot, so I'm gonna bring him a little bit closer. Come here, get up. Come here. Sit. Stay. Sit. Sit. I'll even go toward him a little bit. Ready? Keep her up feet. There you go. Good boy. Good boy. I give a little throw. He can come over. A little over or something like that. And that's kind of like how the progression of the foot stall works. You can do a bunch of different variations. They can come over the top of your head. They can do it with one foot. They can stand on one foot. They can stand on two feet. They can do a handstand on two feet. They can circle on two feet. You can lay on your belly and stick your feet up and do that. There's lots of variations. But remember, to me, these foot stalls are more for shows. You're going to do them in a competition. Remember, they take a lot of time, so you need to be go, bam, bam, hit it up, go. Dog messes up a little bit, boom, boom, go, do it again. Don't be trying it no more than two times, because then judges already know you're capable of making a mistake if you go into it twice. So that's, that's how I do my foot stalls, and I did it with Gipper. He's my uh, five-year-old border collie, and old uh, Come here, buddy. Gipper, up. Come here. This is Gipper. Uh, thank you very much. I'm Martin here with GeorgeIrishDiscogs.com with Gipper.